Welcome to Psalm 100. This is a super familiar psalm. I'm sure you've read it, maybe sung it. It's only five verses, uh, 12 lines long. It's really short, but let's look at it. Uh, you got these kind of sets of three, all right? So it's four sets of three. Here's the first half. We've got a call to praise here, verses one and two. And then we've got the reason for that praise. We've got the cause for praise, if you like. And so here's the call, make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, come into his presence with singing. So it's an invitation to enter, to come in, uh, serving him and celebrating him. And then here's the reason why we should be celebrating. Here's the reason for the gladness and the singing in the first three lines. Know that the Lord, he is God. Don't tend to dwell on this title name of God, the, the Lord, all capitals. But this is the covenant name of God. This is the God who makes promises and keeps them. The God who establishes relationship with us by covenant based on the solid foundation of his word, his plan, his purpose. I will and then we get to benefit from that. And this is kind of what's being described here. We are the covenant people of God. He made us. We are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. The focus is kind of, uh, in a sense, pushing us on to this final image of the sheep of his pasture. Whatever is true of sheep is kind of true of us, right? We are fed by him. We are led by him. We are provided for we are protected we are cared for by him we belong to him he has established us as his people based on the strength of his covenant keeping nature he's a god who establishes relationship with us by covenant that is who we are right there that's who we are and that's the reason that we should come before him with gladness, serving him, coming into his presence, singing, making a joyful noise. The second half of the psalm, again, we've got two sets of three lines. We've got a call to praise and we've got another reason for praise or cause for praise following that. So here's the call. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts also enter his courts with praise, give thanks to him, bless his name. It feels like more of the same, doesn't it? Come on in and be pleased to be there, right? Come on in and celebrate God. What's the reason for that? Remember before in verse three, the reason for that was our blessed state of being recipients of his covenant relationship. Right? He's put himself into covenant with us. So therefore, we are his. We are the sheep of his pasture. And so it was kind of answering the question, who are we? And therefore, we should praise him and worship him. But the question here in verse five kind of takes us to an even more important question. And that is, who is he? Who is he? What kind of a God is this who has brought us into relationship with him? Notice what it says. The Lord, again, we've got the, the full name, the covenant name of God. The Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. It never changes. It never drops off. It never gives up on us. It never fades away. It never grows tired. His steadfast love endures forever. And if you hadn't seen the last line, what would you be expecting? To go in, go in with steadfast love and faithfulness. His faithfulness to all generations. We've got this enduring forever and we've got the to all generations. It's kind of saying the same thing, right? God's steadfast, loyal love will be loyal and steadfast forever. He is a good, good God. And that's the reason that we're called to praise. That's the invitation that we're given. And so whether you think of this uh, coming into church on a Sunday or whether you think of this coming into God's presence, first thing in your day as you kind of close your eyes and pray and recognize him, whether you're coming together with others or whether it's your own heart just drawing near to him, here is a call to praise 
that has real substance to it, real reason, because of the covenant relationship that we've been brought into. And most importantly, because of the God who's brought us into that covenant relationship. He is a good, good God. His steadfast love and his faithfulness never runs out. So take a look at Psalm 100, sing Psalm 100, pass along Psalm 100 and uh, allow it to reverberate in your heart and let it be a blessing to you and to others as you share it with them.